Hey everybody, welcome back. Today we're introducing another brand new lithium iron phosphate deep cycle battery that's a whole lot affordable than most. This is the Red Odo 12.8 volt 200 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. Let's check it out. All right, folks, welcome back. So now this is gonna have a specific purpose in my solar backup power system. Um, I have two systems. Now, a lot of people have been like, well, why don't you combine the both of them for one big one? And I'm like, well, you don't understand. They do two different things. Right now in that system, I have two 50 watt panels on the roof of my carport on the side of the house out here. Uh, I have a uh, charge control and I have a single 114 amp hour lead acid battery that I got from Walmart that has run my freezer my you know small things around during power outages it's kind of a smaller system and it really evolved from a panel in the side window over this way and a little gel cell battery years ago and it kind of grew and grew and grew the other big system I already had from where I lived previously and that's got four of the deep cycle batteries and a 3000 watt inverter and a really high-end charge controller that's pretty much on its own, and it's on 200 watt panels. So this is for the smaller system, okay? Now, 100 watt panels aren't going to charge this thing up in, in five minutes, but it'll definitely work for its intended purposes. And my goal with these is really to keep them charged up, any battery I put in that system, so they're ready for use when the power goes out. So that's really the point of the whole thing, okay? I want this system to be ready for me when I have to, you know, use it for a power outage. So we're going to start talking about this one because this one specifically is far and above other ones that I've tested. I've never had a battery this big before. First off, people get confused about the pronunciation of this. They say Redodo or something. It's Red Odo. That's the correct pronunciation. Now this is an upgraded battery from their Zoom's lithium battery. Okay, this is an upgrade from that. And the price on them will probably shock you, but let me tell you something. If you shop around on Amazon... Um, this is cheap for, you know, it's very inexpensive compared to the other ones. It's a very good battery as well. I've seen a couple other, um, people that specialize on YouTube, just batteries. That's all they do and solar. And they've given this one very, very high marks. Price on it will start off to begin. So I have people that can't afford it. I don't want you to hang around if you're going to get disappointed. It's $698.99. So 600 and, you know, $699. However, your average 200 amp hour battery, especially if it's designed for solar use, which this one really is, usually runs you about a thousand bucks. So you're definitely saving some money. Now, one of the things that I wanted to talk about quickly with this, and I'll go through this quickly because we're going to do another video on this. I'm going to show you the install when I put it on the other, on the other thing, and that's for a later video, probably next week sometime we're going to do that. I wanted to talk about the advantages of the lithium iron phosphate uh, as opposed to a lead acid battery. This one can be recycled up to 4,000 to 8,000 times with 10 years of service life. So in other words, this can be deep discharged 4,000 to 8,000 times and still be perfectly good. And it's good for 10 years. Most lead acid batteries after three or four years, they start losing their peak performance. They start not being able to hold a charge. Some of them have gone bad on me. One cell gets all bad on it and you can't do anything. These are zero maintenance. You stick them in your thing, you get a good charge control, and you have to set up your charge control for LifePo 4 batteries. But once you set it up, you're good to go. Another advantage of these is they're one-third the weight of lead-acid batteries. This is heavy, don't get me wrong, but it's nowhere near as heavy as a regular 200 amp hour battery. These kind of remind me of those truck batteries, if you've ever seen them. Um, and those things are a couple hundred pounds. This thing, I think, was 34 pounds or something, so... For something that big as a battery, it's pretty impressive. The biggest, strongest argument for the lithium iron phosphate batteries is safety, okay? Stability and safety. In solar applications, batteries are mostly inside your home or in close proximity to office buildings or whatever. So safety is an extremely important factor to consider. Now, the trade-off for the fact that it's a little bit bigger than, say, a lead-acid battery is the fact that they're very, very stable. They're non-combustible, even when handled incorrectly, less toxic nature, than, and it mitigates the, the risks of allergic reactions, accidental poisonings, or medical hazards. I mean, if you've ever gotten battery acid on your hand, trust me, you know full well 
what it's like. So it's not a fun adventure. They also have a very deep discharge. You can, you've got a very deep discharge capacity with lithium iron phosphates and the battery management system inside these, which is sort of, I, I haven't really figured it out yet, honestly. This is new to me. But they do have their own little battery management system in these batteries, so it will protect them from completely being depleted, okay? They can be completely discharged without affecting the delivered capacity. That's another benefit over lead-acid batteries. You kill a lead-acid battery, if you ever killed your car battery, you know you're going to have problems and you know you're going to need to replace it. Same goes for deep cycle. You don't want to run them down past a certain rate. So these can be deep discharged without ruining them. And the increased storage capacity gives you a whole lot more before you get down to that discharge. Another thing is the discharge rate. Now the lithium iron phosphate batteries have the added advantage of a steady discharge rate. So this can discharge at a steady rate. Whereas a lead acid battery, when you start getting down there and voltage starts to drop off in effectiveness. This will discharge at a steady rate all across the board. Way, way, way more effective. So let's talk about this one. Okay, really quick, because I don't want to bore you guys to death just talking about a battery today. Um, we are going to install it, so don't worry. We're going to be putting this in the system, and that will be a far more interesting video. But I did want to let you guys know about this, because I know folks are thinking about all these warnings we've been getting about how the grid's going to fail, and that's going to fail, and this is going to fail, and... Now is the time, I mean, you can, seriously, you can get a couple hundred watt panels, stick them outside of your house, a decent charge controller that's designed for lithium iron phosphate, and one of these, and a good inverter, and you're good to go. I mean, you know, it, it, you don't need a whole house system for backup power, and that's why I love this so much, because this is what this is going to be, a long-term, very steady, well-designed well backup power system for me. Um, it's not going to be as light as a power station, but it's definitely going to be something that, you know, I keep in my house, set up in my garage, ready for emergencies. So this battery here has a built-in 100 amp battery management system. It report, supports 100 amp max, okay? Continuous charge or discharge. It will discharge with a 1,280 watt max. Your load power on this is 2,560 watt hours. That's the max energy. So with the exceptional quality of the battery management system they put in these, you can have a continuous discharge or discharge current without affecting the battery performance and performing the life cycle of the battery. And they test all of these out before they ship them out. So there's no, oh, I got a bad one. They'll know if it's bad or not. The load power on this battery is 20.48 kilowatt hours. So it's very easy for you to operate a 12 volt system on this. It's actually very well designed for home solar systems. Again, you can hook these up in series or parallel. And I believe that the limit is eight on these. I'm not sure. I have to check the manual. The manual is very, very, very descriptive. So don't worry about the manual. Okay. You do have a five-year warranty on these. Okay. So anything that goes wrong, you call them up, 24-hour quick response. They will ship you out a new battery or give you tech support to get it working correctly. Now, you do need a special recharger for these. Okay. You do need one that's set up for LifePo4 batteries. Um, you got about, it probably charged between DC 14.2 to 14.6. It also charges at a very, very higher amp rate. So you'll need a battery charger that can do that. Otherwise, you're going to be sitting there for three days with your typical car battery charger. It won't work as well. You can use solar, of course, and that is what we're going to do. We're going to be doing this with solar. We're going to install it on the other side over there and pack it in with solar. And um, I, I think for my uses, I think it's going to be really good. And that's what I say. You know, folks, one of these, okay, one of these with some decent panels outside, they don't need to be mounted on your roof. You know, I've seen plenty of people, especially locally here, just have solar panels on a slant in the backyard, maybe where they're going to get maximum sun all day. You know, they don't need to be on the top of your roof. You can do a small system, run the wires under a door into the house, run it into the charge controller, and run it into your battery, and then out to the inverter. So it doesn't need to be, you know, some kind of big, huge setup. You can do something like that. You can also get something like this, maybe put it on a dolly and have a piece of wood and mount your inverter or charge controller on it. Very, very cool little system. So quickly, let me show you some of the things that it's, this comes with and explain to you how I'm going to set it up. All right, so the first thing this comes with, of course, will be terminals for your battery. And these will screw in right here with terminal caps on them so you can cover them up for safety like that. And you'll just take these plastic pieces out and screw them in. Real, real simple to do. I'm going to keep the plastic pieces in there until I actually install it. 
but it's very, very simple for you to do. Um, you don't need to torque these down hard at all. You know, basically just screw them in there, make sure your terminals are well connected, and then tighten them up maybe a turn, and you're good to go. As long as it's not flopping around like this, you're fine. But you do want a good steady connection up there. It does come with a, which I think is really handy, an operation guide for beginners from how to unpack it to how to install it and everything. This is really, really handy, and it also gives you an idea of what this is able to power, all right, the supported powers. It also tells you something that I would tell you from the beginning. Never connect different types of batteries together uh, when you are um, doing them in parallel or series. In other words, if I got this one and then I got another one from another company and maybe a 100 amp hour one, you don't want to connect all that stuff together. It really puts a strain on the batteries and the chemistry might be different. You never want to connect a LifePo 4 battery with a lead acid battery. I mean, will it work? Sure, it'll work, but it won't work for very long. You know, so you definitely want to do that and make sure that you are um, connecting all of the same batteries together, whether you do them in parallel or series. Okay? This can be mounted in any direction except upside down. If you have to put these together like sideways, you can do that. You can't do that with a lead acid battery. You'll have a mess on your hands. They do have a good, uh, what is it, 10 degrees Celsius to 35 degrees Celsius. Uh, they tell to store it, store it at that in a 50% charge level. They say if you're going to, you know, if you're not going to keep this on solar, all right, or a trickle charger or something like that, to recharge it every three months. It does hold on to its power pretty, pretty well. Of course, you don't want to get this in water or anything like that, and they tell you not to disassemble the battery, although I've seen numerous, numerous YouTubers disassemble the batteries to see what's inside. So, all in all, good quick start manual right there, along with the book, okay? Now, the book is very, very detailed and written very well. Um, obviously, whoever did this knew what they were doing. You know, this isn't, it's not written in half English, half Chinese, or broken English or whatever. It's very, very well written. This is the section I folded it over here. This is your charge controller settings. Because this is a LiPo 4 battery, it charges and discharges at a different rate. So these are your settings for what you want to put into your, um, into your uh, charge controller. Now the charge controller I'm going to be using for this is the same type that we used on the 100 amp hour one, that rolling one that I made a few weeks, a few days ago. So um, it's going to be the same type, so I have to program it, and we'll program that ahead of the video so you don't have to watch it because I showed you how to do it in the other one. So your charge bulk, bulk voltage is going to be 14.4 to 14.6, absorption, same, over voltage disconnect 15, over voltage reconnect 14.2, and tail current is 4 amps. Under voltage will be 11.6. Under voltage recover will be when it gets to 12. Low voltage disconnect, 10.8. You never want to take it below that low. And low voltage reconnect when the battery gets up to 12.4. That's probably the most important thing in here when you're setting up your charge control is this bit of information. But as you can see, it explains the absorption rate, the float charges, all that. Uh, it kind of estimate battery capacity. I mean, there's stuff in here that doesn't even... Um, you, would, you wouldn't even think would be in a battery manual. So it definitely um, gives you a good idea. It teaches you how to connect them in series or how in parallel, how to connect them to a bus bar. Okay. So all in all, excellent manual. Very well done. Uh, again, how to do them in parallel and series. Uh, it's definitely a, definitely a good manual. So I'm really pleased with, the, uh, with this. We're going to have fun setting this up. Like I said, we're going to be, this is the, uh, the charge control I was telling you about. I have another one of these that we're going to be using for this. Right now I have a chief PWM controller over there for the, uh, for the single lead acid battery. Um, I would use that, but unfortunately you can't adjust anything for it. So it's really set to parameters for a lead acid battery and it won't work for LiPo 4. So we are going to be using a different charge control with that. Anyway, folks, I hope you enjoyed the video. The link to check this out will be down below. I didn't want to go too far into this because this is really just a talking video and showing you the battery. But I did want to let you know, get in on the deal a little bit. Um, these are way cheaper than other ones that I've seen on Amazon. And they've gotten incredibly good reviews. So all in all, I think it's an excellent idea to start thinking about some other way to power, you know, maybe medical devices. Let's say you need oxygen and you use an oxygen concentrator or whatever. Um, having something like this ready to go in an emergency where you have your inverter set up and a charge controller and a panel outside, man, that's just beyond invaluable. That will keep you alive. Um, you know, there's lots of other uses for it. Keeping your refrigerator going after a disaster or emergency, 
And I, like I tell people, the first thing that happens in disaster, almost always, is the power goes out. It, I, it never fails. Every time I've heard of a big disaster or a big weather event or whatever, the power goes out. So this will keep you running no matter what. As long as you set up your system fairly robustly, which mine is, you know, mine is a home system. It's set up there on a rack. Um, you will be fine. So anyway, folks, that is the Red Odo 200 amp hour, 12.8 LifePo 4 battery. Uh, the link will be down below if you need any more little things that I may have left out. But all in all, I think it's a really good deal. And like I said, this is a uh, upgrade from their Zoom's lithium battery. So you're definitely going to be getting a good deal on this. Um, if you priced out the LiPo 4 batteries, um, you know what they cost. And for this to be under a thousand bucks, much less six hundred ninety-nine dollars or seven hundred bucks, it's pretty darn good. So link will be down below to check it out. Um, as always, do check out all our other links. We have our Amazon affiliate store down below. We have our freeze-dried wholesaler link. And from what I'm hearing, you guys have been doing really good on that, picking up food. I'm glad to see that. Um, that link will save you 15%. Just by going to that link, you'll save 15%. So no worries on that. There's no codes. There's no BS. You just click the link, and your order will be 15% off. And I love it when people tell me, hey, I ordered from Freeze Dry Wholesale. I'm like, I saved $200 or $400 or whatever. That makes me feel good because I know you guys are using it to your advantage. Okay, we have our My Patriot supply link down below. That's preparewithiridium.com. Preparewithiridium.com. If you have absolutely nothing ready yet, okay, you don't have any food. You're just reading into this. You're just starting to learn about it. We have a deal on that site, on my site, my personal site, for $150 off for a three-month kit. That's a whole lot of food to get you started. And like I say, with that stuff, you can always supplement with canned chicken or beef or whatever. You know, some of the stuff doesn't have meat in it, and you can supplement that way. Um, I love their rice, and usually I'll take their rice and throw in a can of chicken or two, and it makes for a really good meal. Uh, that's preparewithiridium.com. Below that, we have our Thrive Life freeze-dried food. If you're interested in getting started with Thrive Life, um, you need to understand you don't need to join anything. Uh, years ago, it was very difficult, and you had to become a consultant or a reseller or whatever they called it back then. Um, you don't anymore. You can just go there and order it. Now, to save money, you can become a delivery customer, which isn't a consultant. You just get a regular delivery every single month, all right? And you'll be able to save some money on that just like you were a consultant. Or you can become a consultant. If you feel that you have the energy to get out there and maybe show it to people, or maybe earn some money on the side as a side job, <coughs> one, two. You can definitely do that as well as save yourself a ton of money. But you'll save the same amount of money being a delivery customer as well. Anyway, folks, check out the battery. Link's down below. Stay safe and stay prepared.